Hello, I'm Peter Vaughan and this is the brand new 2021 season Pilot P626D Evidence. P626D, well it's a Pacific which is what Pilot calls its low profile range. 626, key thing there is that it's 6.2 metres long. Look at it, it's really quite compact. Shorter, in fact, than, a, than an extra long wheelbase Fiat Ducato van conversion, and there are plenty of those on the market. The other key thing about this vehicle, well, two key things, actually. One is that it has a layout that majors on giving you a really big front lounge with a drop-down bed above. And the other thing is that this is in the new Evidence spec. Now, Evidence gives you all the extras that UK buyers used to tick as options on their pilots, but all in the standard spec and at an advantageous price. We'll go into more detail on that in a minute, but I want to get inside because it's raining and cold, it's January, and it's much warmer, toastier, and more comfortable in there. Now, much as I want to get indoors out of the rain. I'm getting ahead of myself a bit because I need to show you a couple of features on the outside. First of all, with the evidence spec, you get the rollout awning, you get the alloy wheels, but even though this is a really compact little motorhome, you do get a good chunk of external storage. You've got this sort of semi-garage external locker here, good for folding bikes and that sort of thing. Now, on this one, it's rather full at the moment with the cushions for the downstairs bed if you want to use this as a four berth but I guess most people will probably see this as a two berth van so I'll show you that in detail and on the other side we've got quite a large gas locker with a bit of shelf storage and also a useful slide out drawer in the skirt with um, a load capacity of 70 kilos good for leveling wedges mains lead all that sort of thing. Now, remember what I said about the size of this vehicle, just 6.2 metres long, and yet it feels much, much bigger than that inside. Of course, not having a fixed bed, you've got acres more to devote to the lounge. And it's a full coach built width at 2.3 metres wide. But nevertheless, this does feel a very spacious little motorhome. That near side settee is 1.74 meters long that's five foot eight in old money you step up into the cab so the front seats are at a different level but that's no problem if you want to put your feet up a tv bracket just inside the door is also um, quite convenient because it's height adjustable so you can bring it down when you're watching from from the lounge seats or the cab seats and push it up when you're watching from bed which we'll come to later now the other thing i mentioned at the outset outset is this new evidence spec that pilot are doing for the uk only on selected models um, the rest of the range you can still get in essential or, or sensation specification but this one um, this is one of one of a number of models that's well there's four low profiles that are available in uh, in evidence spec and you get the same enhanced kit list on all of them the eight inch media pack multimedia unit in the dashboard, DAB radio, reversing camera, and you get front and rear speakers with that as well. Then you get a 95 amp hour AGM battery, 100 watt solar panel, that's the energy pack. Then you get the luxury pack with the leather steering wheel, chrome uh, instrument uh, rings, uh, steering wheel controls, aluminium dashboard trim. And then there's the comfort pack with the remote central locking working on the habitation door, a fly screen on the door as well, uh, blinds on the cab, electric entry step and cab carpets. And finally, there's even more kit. You get the faux leather upholstery, you get an oven in the kitchen, carpets in the living area, uh, sky dome, the, the big over cab sunroof. You get um, a Truma Combi 6 EH heating. So that's the six kilowatt, the, the the more powerful combi unit, but the gas and electric one as well. A frost-proof wastewater tank, the skirt locker that I showed you earlier, 16-inch alloy wheels and the awning. But on top of all that, to go with the 140 bhp Fiat engine, you get the 
excellent nine-speed automatic gearbox, which is such a desirable fitting. And all that at 40, uh, sorry, 57,940, sub 60 grand price. It sounds pretty competitive. Now in this lounge, as I've said, there's plenty of room to put your feet up, but there's also room to invite your friends round for an evening meal. Look how big the table is when it's unfolded. And of course, it does all the usual sliding around, but also you can manually, not, not electric on, on this one, but you can manually alter the height. At its top position, it does seem a bit lofty, but if you want it down at coffee table height, then that's quite doable. And you can also lower it right down, unfold it, and make this lounge area into a bed. But that's more of an occasional bed, as we'll see later on. The other thing that you can do, because this van can operate as a four berth, is to turn this bench seat into two travel seats. Now, one thing I particularly like is the way all the backrests attach magnetically. You hear the ping as the magnets attach. So when you go round a twisty mountain road, you haven't got all your cushions on the floor. That is a big plus in my book. Now, to convert it to travel seats, these two at that end are unnecessary. They, they become surplus to requirements. But that backrest pops up. Again, your backrests attach magnetically, and so does that flap. And now you've got one rearward and one forward facing travel seat, both with three point belts. No head restraint on the rearward facing seat, and this only fairly limited amount of steel work in the structure. But as an occasional couple of rear travel seats, if you very occasionally take grandchildren away, it does make this motorhome a little more, a little bit more versatile. Not so long ago in a layout like this, you'd have expected to have to convert this lounge into a bed every night. Of course, as I said, you can do that if you need four berths, but I envisage most people will see this as a two berth, perhaps an occasional two plus two. Now, making the bed, therefore, is very simple. Just lower the table down, remove the backrest cushions, and then it's simply a matter of turning a key and pressing a button. Once the bed's down, access is really, really easy. The, the bed comes right down to just 800 millimetres off the lounge area floor. But because the kitchen, the kitchen floor is 190 mil higher, it's only just over 600 mil step into the bed. So it's really, really easy. You can literally just sit on the bed and you're in. And once you're in bed, Vortex Comfort Mattress, and look at the size of it, it's huge. Two meters long, one meter 58 wide. This has to be one of the biggest beds in its class. Absolutely one piece mattress, nice, absolutely flat. And the telly is now in prime position for you to watch your favorite film in bed as well. What could you, they improve? Well, you've got a couple of lights up there, maybe a couple of closer reading lights would be nice, but really now I am nitpicking. This is a great feature. Has to be one of the biggest beds in its class. Now, as I said, there is a bit of a step up into the kitchen, but you've still got decent headroom here, unless you're exceptionally tall. And what Pilot really have done with this layout is to take the existing seven metre uh, P696, which is still available and offered in evidence trim, and just trimmed it down. You know, now you lose some of the garage space. The garage is, is a bit small, but unless you really are carrying full size bikes on board, that probably doesn't matter. You've got plenty of space still for outdoor tables and chairs, barbecue and all that sort of thing, or even folding bikes. And you have got now a much more compact vehicle. 
compact, but you've still got a good kitchen. You've got an oven and grill, really large drawer for all your pots and pans. You've got a worktop cover to go in over your sink, give you a bit more preparation space, large cutlery drawer, and then unusually sort of facing forwards you've got this very tall 139 litre fridge and that's got automatic energy selection as well. Decent amount of worktop and then I really like the storage in the corner. It's tall enough for your cereal packets, you've got room for all your plates and bowls and so on. That's a very useful feature. He looks smart too with this gloss white finish. Got one top cupboard as well. And there's more storage in the floor. I found that quite a useful place to keep my shoes. Not only that, but you've got internal access, a little bit limited, but some internal access into your garage. So if you're gonna put maybe a dog cage in there, that could be quite a USP as well. Then your wardrobe is here, that's a decent size. The only thing I can criticise really is that you only get a two burner hob. Finally, behind this timbre door, we've got quite an impressive washroom. You've got the far superior Dometic toilet and plenty of room when you sat on the throne. Storage behind has these plastic lips so all your stuff won't fall out when you arrive on campsite provided you've of course you've packed it all tightly in there but the best bit is when you want to have a shower and the wash basin swings round and now you have a decent sized shower cubicle okay it would be ideal if you had one leg slightly longer than the other because there is a step in it but you've got somewhere for your soap or your shampoo and plenty of room to have a proper shower. When you come out of the shower, there's an added convenience. Not only have you got the wardrobe just here, but you can turn the whole kitchen into a fabulously spacious changing area just by deploying this concertina screen. So, the Pilot P626D in evidence trim. It's certainly well equipped. I can't think of anything really that you'd need to add apart from possibly a satellite dish and of course the telly itself. Everything else pretty much is in the standard spec, which is great at a price of uh, well under 58 grand. Things I don't like, not many I'd like some hooks for towels, maybe a drying rail in the washroom. A three burner hob would be nice instead of two, but the kitchen's great really. Um, washroom works well. The lounge is really spacious, although the squabs are just a tad on the narrow side, so try those before you buy. The bed is huge and it just comes down. You just nick, take the backrests off and it's press a button. So, so simple and so low, so easy to access. Even other beds that come right down to seat level because you've got that step right there in the kitchen, right by where the bed comes down. It makes, uh, makes access into the bed so easy. And the, the uh, habitation door isn't blocked when you have the bed down either. Okay, it won't suit you if you need a full size garage but for most of us, that external space will be plenty. So a great little two berth, two plus two on occasion perhaps, although obviously then you have to compromise on the uh, level of this bed to give enough headroom for those sleeping underneath. A super little addition to the Pilot lineup for 2021. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, Plenty more will be coming along soon, but don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.